Welcome back. This module describes about the storage of data in a computer system. From this module, a learner is expected to achieve the following. Understand the role of computer in information processing. Familiarizes the storage cell, flip-flops and gates. Understands the concept of main memory. Learns about the classification of data storage devices. Understands the various techniques for accessing stored information. Get an idea about the uses of different storage media. Computer data storage, often called storage or memory, refers to computer components, devices and recording media that retain digital data used for computing for some interval of time. There are basically two types of data which a computer can handle, characters and numbers. The characters and numbers fed to a computer and the output from the computer must be in a human readable form. These constitute the external data representation. But the representation of data inside a computer must match the technology used by the computer to store and process data. Storage of bits. Today's computers store all the information, both numeric and alphanumeric, as combinations of zeros and ones. These digits are called binary digits or bits in short. These are only symbols whose meaning vary with applications. In digital circuits, a flip-flop is a term referring to an electronic circuit, a bistable multi-vibrator that has two stable states and thereby is capable of serving as one bit of memory. Flip-flop is the common name given to two state devices which offer basic memory for sequential logic operations. Flip-flops are heavily used for digital data storage and transfer and are commonly used in locations called registers for the storage of binary numerical data. The term flip-flop has come to mostly denote non-transparent clock or edge trigger devices while the simpler transparent ones are often referred to as latches. A flip-flop is usually controlled by one or two control signals and or a gate or clock signal. The output often includes the complement as well as the normal output. Logic gates are electronic circuit which operate on one or more binary input signals to produce standard binary output signals. These are the building blocks of all digital circuits in a computer. Computer circuits are built up using combinations of different types of logic gates to perform the necessary operation. A variety of logic gates are commonly used in digital computer system. Each gate has a distinct logic symbol and its operation is described with the help of an algebraic expression. The input-output relationship of a gate can be expressed in tabular form called truth table. The various logic gates are AND gate, OR gate and NOT gate. Main memory. A memory or store is required in a computer to store programs and the data processed by programs. A memory is made up using large number of cells or location and each cell is capable of storing one bit. The cells may be organized so that it can store a fixed number of bits called word length of memory. Each word has a built-in and unique number assigned to it. The number is called the address of the location and is used to identify the location. Each location can hold either a data item or an instruction and its address remains the same regardless of its contents. The storage cells are made up of flip-flops fabricated with transistors. These cells are called binary cells and each cell can store a binary digit. The following figure illustrates a storage cell. The cell has an input data line on which the symbol to be written is sent to the cell. To write the symbol into the cell, a write control signal is sent through the write line. If the content of the cell is to be read, a read control signal is sent on the read line and the content of the cell may be sensed on the output line. Entering data into a storage location is destructive or volatile and retrieving data is non-destructive. By appropriate variation in the interconnection of binary memory cells, 
it is possible to organize different types of memories. The simplest organization of a set of cells is shown here. In this organization, three cells are interconnected in such a manner that the write control lines of all the cells are connected together. The read control lines are also connected together. The bits to be written in each cell are fed to the appropriate input data lines. When the write control signal is applied to the write line, these input bits are written in the individual cells. The previous contents in the cells are automatically erased when the information is written. In order to read the contents of the cell, a read signal is applied to the common read line. The contents of the cell appear on the respective output data lines. This interconnection of cells is called the register. This register stores three bits. A group of registers may be interconnected to form a memory. The two basic types of semiconductor memories are the random access memory RAM and the read only memory ROM. RAM is a read write memory. Information can be written into and read from a RAM. It is a volatile memory. The information written to it is retained in it as long as the power supply is on. When the power supply is interrupted, this stored information is lost. The basic storage cell of a RAM is a flip-flop fabricated with transistors. RAMs come in two varieties, static RAM and dynamic RAM. A ROM is a semiconductor memory device used to store information which is permanent in nature and has become an important part of any digital systems because of its low cost, high speed and data non-volatility. The information stored in it is not lost even if the power supply goes off. It is used for permanent storage. ROMs are much cheaper as compared to RAMs. Depending on the programming process employs, the ROMs are categorized as mask programmable ROM, programmable ROM and erasable programmable ROM. Mass storage. Memory usually refers to a form of semiconductor storage known as random access memory or RAM and sometimes other forms of fast but temporary storage. Similarly, storage today more commonly refers to mass storage optical disk, forms of magnetic storage like hard disk and other types of slower than RAM but of a more permanent nature. Historically, memory and storage were respectively called primary storage and secondary storage or auxiliary memory. The terms online and offline are often used to describe devices that can be either attached or detached from a machine. Online means that the device or information is connected and is readily available to the machine without human intervention. Offline means that human intervention is required before the device must be turned on or the medium holding the information must be inserted into by some mechanism. Primary storage of a computer has only a limited capacity and it is volatile. Thus, to store huge amount of data which need to be permanent in the system, secondary storages have been developed. They are non-volatile and have lower cost per bit stored, but generally have lower operational speed. The data stored in secondary storage can partially be transferred to primary storage whenever required. For the earlier systems, punched paper tapes and punched cards were used. But the popular ones today are magnetic tapes, magnetic disk, optical disk and memory storage devices. Data are stored in secondary storage in the same binary cords as in primary storage and are made available to primary storage as needed. A major disadvantage of the mass storage system is that they typically require mechanical motion and therefore require significantly more time to store and retrieve data than a machine's main memory. The secondary storage devices selected for a particular application depends mainly upon how the stored information need to be accessed. The mainly used accessing methods are sequential or serial access and direct or random access. Thus, 
The commonly used secondary storage devices can be classified as sequential access devices and direct access devices. Sequential access devices. Memory is organized into units of data called block. Data blocks are stored one after the other. A sequential access storage device is one in which the arrival at desired location may be preceded by sequencing through other locations so that access time varies according to location. Information on a sequential access devices can be retrieved in the same sequence only in which it is stored. A shared read-write mechanism is used and this must be moved from its current location to the desired location passing and rejecting each intermediate block. While working with sequential access device, if an address is required out of order, it can be reached only by searching through all the addresses stored before it. For example, data stored at the last few locations cannot be accessed until all preceding locations in the sequence have been traversed, which is analogous to a music tape cassette. Sequential accessing is quite suitable for such applications like preparation of monthly pay slips or monthly electricity bills, etc., where each address need to be accessed in line. The commonly used sequential access device is magnetic tape unit. Direct access devices. In many applications, we need to access information in a more direct manner than sequential access devices allow. As with sequential access, direct access involves a shared read-write mechanism. However, individual blocks have a unique address based on the physical location. Direct access storage devices are also called semi-random storage devices because any data can be accessed directly and approximately equal access time is required for each location. This is analogous to a music CD. Direct access storage devices are suitable for such applications like banking system, airline reservation system, etc., where immediate access may be required. Magnetic disk, optical disk, and mass memory storage devices are examples of direct access storage devices. Types of secondary storage devices A wide variety of secondary storage devices is available in today's computers. The most commonly used are magnetic tape, magnetic disc or diskette, CD-ROMs and DVD. Magnetic tape. Magnetic tape medium is a plastic ribbon usually half inch or 1 by 4 inch wide and 50 to 2400 feet long. Magnetic tapes are particularly suited for offline storage of large amounts of data. Data are recorded on the tape in the form of tiny invisible magnetized spots on the iron oxide side of the tape. The tape is divided into vertical columns called frames and horizontal rows called tracks. A character is recorded per frame using any of the alphanumeric codes. A magnetic tape must be mounted on a tape drive before it can be used for a reading writing of information. A tape drive is connected to and controlled by a tape controller that interprets the commands for operating the tape drive. Advantages Unlimited storage The storage capacity is virtually unlimited because as many tapes as required can be used for storing large data. Higher density Large amount of data can be stored without compression. Thus. Cost per bit of storage is very low for magnetic tape. Portability Due to the compact size and lightweight, magnetic tape reels and cartridges are also easily portable from one place to another. They are often used for transferring data and programs from one computer to another that are not linked together. Reusable they are reused a number of times without loss of quality of data recording. Limitations No direct access Due to the sequential access nature, magnetic tapes are not suitable for storage of data that are accessed randomly. Indirect interpretation 
data stored are in the form of tiny invisible magnetic spots. Hence, the contents cannot be interpreted and verified directly. Environmental problems. Specks of dust can cause tape reading errors. Thus, tapes need to be stored in a place with properly controlled temperature and humidity levels. Uses. For applications based on sequential data processing, example inventory master file. Backing up of data stored on online storage devices such as disk for its offline storage. Archiving of data which are not used frequently but which may be used once in a while. Transferring of data which are not used frequently but which may be used once in a while. Magnetic disk. Magnetic disks are the most popular direct access storage medium. Magnetic disks are smooth metal plates coated on both sides with a thin film of magnetic material. A set of such magnetic plates are fixed spindle one below the other to make up a disk pack. The disk pack is sealed and mounted on a disk drive. Such a disk drive consists of a motor to rotate the disk pack about its axis at a speed of about 3600 revolutions per minute. The drive also has a set of magnetic heads mounted on amps. Data are recorded on a disk in the form of tiny invisible magnetized and non-magnetized spots representing ones and zeros on the coated surface of the disk. Each surface is divided into concentric circles known as tracks and each track into several sectors. There are typically between 10 and 100 sectors per track and these may be either fixed or of variable length. The set of corresponding tracks on all the surface of a disk pack forms a logical cylinder. A set of disk drives are connected to a disk controller. The disk controller aspects command from the computer and position the read-write heads of the specified disk for reading or writing. The read-write heads of the disk system are either fixed or movable. Each read-write head consists of a magnetic yoke and a magnetizing coil. Digital information can be recorded on the magnetic film by applying current pulses of suitable polarity. In order to access information from a disk, the disk address of the desired data has to be specified in terms of surface number, track number and sector number. All magnetic disks are round platers. They come in different sizes, use different types of packaging and are made of rigid metal or flexible plastic. The magnetic disk can be broadly classified into two, floppy disk and hard disk. Floppy disks are individually packaged in protective envelopes or plastic cases whereas hard disks are packaged individually or in multiples in cartridges or contamination free containers. Depending on the type of packaging, hard disks are further classified into Zip Bernoulli disk, disk packs and Winchester disk. Access time Disk access time is the interval between the times of a computer makes a request for a transfer of data from a disk system to primary storage and the time this operation is completed. This access time depends on the following three parameters. First one, transfer rate. It is seek time. The time required to move the read-write head to the proper track. Second, latency. The amount of time that elapses after the head is positioned over the correct track until the starting position of the addressed sector passes under the read-write head. Third, the rate at which data is read from or returned to a disk. Advantages Support direct access of data making them more suitable for wide range of applications. Due to random access property, magnetic disks are often used by multiple users simultaneously as a shared device. Suitable for both online and offline storage of data. Example, Winchester disk and disk packs are often used as online secondary storage devices. Floppy disk and zip disk are 
used as offline secondary storage devices. Except for fixed type Winchester disk, storage capacity is virtually unlimited. Due to low cost and high data recording densities, cost per bit of storage is low. Data transfer rate for a magnetic disk system is normally higher. Magnetic disks are less vulnerable to data corruption due to unfavorable environmental conditions. Limitations Although magnetic disk can be used for both types of applications, use of magnetic disk is less efficient than magnetic tapes. More difficult to maintain security of information stored on those magnetic disks that are used as shared online secondary storage devices as compared to information stored on magnetic tape. A disk crash or drive failure often result in loss of entire data stored on it. Not easily portable, Winchester disk and disk pack. Uses For applications that require random data processing as a shared online secondary storage device, as a backup device for offline data storage, transferring of data and programs between two computers that are not linked together. Optical disk During the last few years, optical disk proved to be a promising random access medium for high capacity secondary storage because it can store extremely large amount of data in a limited space. An optical disk storage system consists of a rotating disk coated with a thin metal or some other material that is highly reflective. Optical disks are also known as laser disk or optical laser disk because they use laser beam technology for data read or write. An optical disk has one long track starting at the outer edge and spiraling inward to the center. This spiral track is ideal for reading large blocks of sequential data such as audio or video. The spiral track of an optical disk is split up into equal length sectors regardless of the position of a sector from the sender. Cost per bit of storage is very low for optical disk because of their low cost and high storage density. The storage capacity of an optical disk equal to number of sectors multiplied by number of bytes per sector. An optical disk drive uses laser beam technology for recording or reading of data on an optical disk surface. It has two laser beam sources. One laser beam of greater intensity is used to write data by etching microscopic pits on the disk surface and another laser beam of lesser intensity is used to read data from the light sensitive disk surface. To write data, laser beam is turned on and off at a varying rate due to which tiny pits are burned into the metal coating of the disk surface along its tracks. To read data, the less powerful laser beam is focused on the disk surface. This beam is strongly reflected by the coated surface known as land and weakly reflected by the burned surface known as pit, producing patterns of on and off reflections that are converted into electronic signals of binary ones and zeros by sensor. A mechanical forward-backward moving read-write axis arm with laser source to place the unit to the desired place on the optical disk. Types of optical disk Optical disks are in different sizes and capacities. Commonly used types of optical disk are CD-ROM. A compact disk also known as a CD is an optical disk used to store digital data. It was originally developed to store sounds recordings exclusively. Philips which defined a non-volatile optical computer data storage but later it also allowed the preservation of other types of data. For the first few years of its existence, the compact disk was a medium used purely for audio. However, in 1985, the CD-ROM standards was established by Sony and medium used the same physical format as audio compact disk, readable by a computer with a CD-ROM drive. Standard CDs have a diameter of 120 mm and 
can hold up to 80 minutes of audio that is 700 MB of data. A CD is made from 1.2 mm thick almost pure polycarbonate plastic and weighs approximately 16 grams. From the center outward components are at the center spindle hall 15 mm, the first transition area that is clamping ring and the clamping area stacking ring and the second transition area or the mirror band, the information or the data area and the rim. The technology was eventually adapted and expanded to encompass the data storage CD-ROM. Write one's audio and data storage CD-R, rewritable media CD-RW, video compact disc VCD, super video compact disc SVCD, photo CD, picture CD, CDI and enhanced CD. WOM that is CD-R. Compact disc recordable is a type of write once read many WOM compact disc format that allows one time recording on a disc. CD-R retains a high level of compatibility with standard CD readers. A standard CD-R is a 1.2 mm thick disc made of polycarbonate with a 120 mm or 80 mm diameter. The 120 mm disc has a storage capacity of 74 minutes of audio or 650 MIB of data. Most CDs are on the market have an 80 minute capacity. The polycarbonate disc contains a spiral groove called the pre-groove because it is molded in before data are written to the disc to guide the laser beam upon writing and reading information. CDRW CDRW compact disc rewritable is a rewritable optical disc format. Known as CD erasable that is CDE during its development CDRW was introduced in 1997. CDRW discs need to be blanked before reuse. Different blanking methods can be used including full blanking in which the entire surface of the disc is cleared and fast blanking in which only metadata areas are cleared. Prior to the introduction of the CDRW technology, a standard for magneto-optical recordable and erasable CDs called CDMO was introduced in 1988. Video CD, VCD, View CD and Compact Disc Digital Video is a standard digital format for storing video media on a CD. VCDs are playable in dedicated VCD players, most modern DVD video players, personal computers and some video game consoles. The VCD standard was created in 1993 by Sony, Philips, Matsushita and JVC and is referred to as to the white book standard. Overall picture quality is intended to be comparable to VHS video. Poorly compressed VCD video can sometimes be lower quality than VHS video but VCD exhibits block artifacts rather than analog noise and does not deteriorate further with each use which may be preferable. In this session we have discussed storage of bits, primary memory and some secondary storage devices. Before going to the next unit please try to answer these questions. 1. What is the need of computer storage? Second, What is the role of flip-flops and gates in digital circuit design? Third, What is RAM? 4. What is ROM? 5. Describe the magnetic tape system. 6. Describe the magnetic disk system. Books for your reference. An overview of computer science by J. Glenn Bookshare. Computer fundamentals by Pradeep K. Singha and Preeti Singha. Fundamentals of computers by V. Raja Raman. Digital fundamentals by Thomas L. Floyd. Hope you enjoyed the session. Come back with another session. Until then, goodbye. Take care.